Okay everyone, today I'm going to be attempting double levitation. So I have a magnetic levitation kit and then on top of it I'm going to be trying to levitate my superconductor to see if I can get double level levitation. So in order to see what's going on here, I have some magnetic field viewing paper. And this has tiny little filings in it that align with the magnetic field when you put it near it. So for example, I have two magnets here, put it on top of it, and you can see the magnetic fields of the magnet. So this lets us see what's going on inside of here. When I put it on top of here, you can see that there's this circular magnet here. Now this is a permanent magnet, and then I also have another permanent magnet here, a circular magnet. And now I wanna put them on top of each other. I'll put this here so you can actually see what's going on inside of it. So I wanna put it right in the center. But the problem is, is, no matter how hard I try to balance it, it always becomes unbalanced and pops off to the side. So balancing two magnets on top of each other is inherently unstable and you can never get it to work unless you have some feedback. So whenever it tries to start to fall one way, what if I had another magnet that turned on over in this corner and pushed it back the other way? Or if, or if, it, falled the, or if it started to fall the other way, I have another magnet that pushes it back the other way. And that's exactly what they did here. In each of the four corners, what they did is they put some electromagnets. And based on the field that it senses, if it senses this field start to move away from it, it'll turn on one of these four magnets in the corner here. And so you can see that I can't get it balanced right now, but as soon as I turn on the electricity and turn on my four electromagnets in the corner, and the electromagnets, you can see when they're turned on based on when these lights are on or off. So you can see I start to move towards it, So when all the lights are on, that means it's balanced. But what's really happening is these are actually turning on and off really fast. You just can't see it. So today what I'm going to be doing is balancing different stuff on top of my magnetic levitator. And then for the finale, what I'll be doing is a double layer levitation. See if I can actually get it to work. So I'll have my levitator levitating. And then on top of it, I'll try to levitate my type 2 superconductor. We'll see if it actually works. Okay, first let's try levitating some random objects. First you can see just putting a little bit of foam on it, it can easily take the weight. Get a little bit heavier, let's try for a tape measure. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. The tape measure levitated. Easily can handle it. And how about we do a shoe? There we go. <laughs> There's a shoe levitating. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, now let's try a full book. Okay, this one was hard to get centered, but I did it, and it looks like it can easily hold the weight as well. What's really cool is how it, the magnets can turn on and off. You, it actually slowly spins it in place. Okay, now let's try to do a double levitation with the type two superconductor. First, we have to cool it down with liquid nitrogen. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Double levitation. <laughs> Superconductor on top of a levitator. That is awesome. Look how the superconductor is locked with it, but the magnet below can spin freely. So you can see nothing between here and nothing between here.
That's so cool. So the reason this type two superconductor is able to levitate on top of here is called flux pinning or quantum locking. And what happens is the magnetic field lines of the magnets below the type two superconductor can only penetrate it at certain spots. So basically the magnetic field lines thread through it and lock it in place. So the superconductor is actually pinned to the magnets even though it's levitating. So that means that when I turn the superconductor, it'll turn the magnets below it. Whereas the, for the levitation base below, it's not locked to the magnet above it, so it can spin freely. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the Action Lab again. I hope you liked the video, hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.